absolutely so excited to come to you right now because we have some like literally amazing things that are coming in store. And while I can't talk about most of them, you will be seeing them. I do want to talk to you about being organized. About 15, 20 years ago, I actually was a real estate agent and owned my own company where I sold a specific type of real estate. I absolutely loved it. It was great. Okay, I like going into homes and I like seeing the layout and the setups of homes. So it was great. Um, and you have to be really organized, and I loved organizing. It is like my drug of choice, I'm just going to tell you. So stop that, and I moved into becoming a 911 dispatcher. Totally felt the calling, yeah. So hence we move up to the Oregon coast, and I retired. I retired to literally start a homestead, and we're here. So I started a homestead, um, uh, I stopped really planning things and I just started taking care of what came along instead of making things come along. So I was one of those girls that had a day timer. Um, you remember those? Every single day was full um, and I, I was to the 15 minute mark. I literally set my watch. I went into the grocery store. I was out within 15 minutes. I had what I needed. I was home. I'm a lot more different now. A lot more, um, let's just say, six hour coffee dates are not uncommon for me, but they're gonna have to stop because we have some really amazing things coming on the, on the, uh, in the world, on the land, and I wanna share them eventually with you. But for right now, I wanna share with you, I got, went, I'm, I'm doing a planner again. So what did I do to keep myself organized um, recently is I was just taking a composition notebook. I mean, literally, it's a composition notebook. So I took this and I would just literally draw my plans, write things, put post-it notes. That was it. Always had a pen with me. It was a really great way. And it was people, it was 70 cents. What could be better than that? 70 cents. So even if you don't do a composition notebook and you want to get more organized, I highly recommend. I had one composition notebook a year. Um, I started at the beginning and I just made my to-do notes and kept myself going with that. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving up in the world and I need a real planner. I need something to really keep me focused and going. So, dun dun dun, -dun. I'm so happy. I started researching planners online because I really didn't want to spend a couple hundred dollars to get myself back into a day timer. And to be honest with you, while the day timer, I knew the whole system and I knew it would work for me. And I knew I could jump right in and, and relearn it and, and do it. I wanted color and creativity and I wanted, I wanted cute in a get or done kind of way. So cute get her done and this is what i've got i went with the happy planner and, and let's show you what we've got going so i bought so i that's really intelligent isn't it so i bought the happy planner and this is the one i bought you are exactly where you need to be it's not really the front that i the reason i it's not the cover that i bought it um the Happy Planner, I immediately went in and ripped out a ton of the pieces to it. So here's the inside. Um, because with a day timer, I will go back through and I will add my months um, for the whole year. But I don't want all of the weeks for my whole year. I want to have, I think I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight months in here. And I think eight months is perfect. Eight, eight months is actually pretty perfect. So this is what I have. It's got the month at a glance. And you can see the month. And then the next page has the week. So, and it's all... Um, it's all a week on two pages. So 
the month is on two pages at a glance, and then you have the week. It has the notes down the side. It has notes here. What I'm thankful for. So basically, it's kind of like a journal. Like I'm journaling my life, which is what I did in the day timer, along with um, what I'm reading and planning and watching and loving. I don't watch much TV, so that's probably going to be left blank. I do watch, however, a lot of YouTube University. You can learn a lot from YouTube University. So I picked up a few accessories. I picked up a pouch. So I picked up the um, doo -doo -doo -doo, the planner accessories so that I have blanks and notes. I'm really huge on taking notes and it's just a whole bunch of those. And I picked up, it had a sheet of stickers right there and it had a pocket pouch and it had post-it notes and a paper clip. I picked up that. I love this um, because I can put invitations, things that we've been invited to, and um, I can have all of those in one place like baby showers or bridal showers. I can put the invitation here, take it with me, and whenever I am somewhere that they might be registered, I can pick up and purchase what they, um, what was on their list, or I can, if I'm sitting waiting in line, I can literally go on their registry and find what it is that they wanted and add it. In fact, I have an invitation here already. So I picked up that. And then, I'm sorry, I just hit you. And then I added the household extension pack. I like the daily chores um, reminder because sometimes I sit here and wonder, hmm, when was the last time I swept the floor? I live on a hobby farm. I have chicken poo everywhere. Trust me, I keep it as clean as I can. But sometimes when harvest season is here, you got to harvest the peaches. Yes, peaches, I'm coming after you shortly. They're falling on the tree. Whatever the deer aren't getting, it's literally interesting. When you live on a farm and you're growing food, you just kind of meander out in the garden to eat. Do we have to eat three times a day? That's so overrated. Seriously? Three times a day? Uh-uh. You only need to eat once, dude. Once. Anyways, I'm messing with you. I do feed my family. I do feed my family. Which is why I like the meal planners because I like to be a very organized person. I was a very organized person and we knew what we were going to be eating for two to three months out when I had the planner. And then projects. I do a lot of projects and having these pages in the back is going to help me. Now, what else did I add to this? I researched the um, different types of planners and different ways of using this, the Franken planner and the extension planner and all, and the multiple planners. Um, and it definitely will become a Franken planner, pretty sure, 90% positive. Anyways, there is a lot of space left on this disc. I'm not even using up half of its potential, half of its potential. I'm so excited. So I also bought the undated fitness extension pack. It's not dated, which means I can start it at any time, which means it's not being started right now. I actually don't know if I want it um, because I do most of my exercising and workout on the land, except for today. Don't look at how many steps I don't have today. Um, but I do like, I do want something of this caliber. I'm just not sure if this is the one that I want. At some way, shape, or form, I will have an exercising um, chart journaling thing in here. I just don't know if I'll make it or not. Now, why did I go with the disc version instead of a spiral one? That We're, we're back around now because I just want to talk to you like a human being. Um, face to face. I think face to face is a good way to talk to people. So why... I went with the disc system is I really like to add things and customize my planner and I was constantly opening up my wire um, my my binders and adding pages in that I created creating pages to work with how I'm organized when I say organized I don't just mean I was organized I mean I was organized I was I was productive 
And I miss that in me. I mean, when you're productive and you're getting stuff done, you feel invigorated. You feel like you could literally tackle the world. Yes, let's do it. Let's tackle the world. Let's figure out where we could go to tackle it. And I'm taking my happy planner with me because um, I like this thing. The, the These are a little hard to get used to. I'm figuring them out. Um, I was a little worried at first that paper, paper would fall out. doesn't seem to be falling out. I, I like the... Um, I like the ability to add color to it on my own if I wanted to. I like the journaling part of it where I could journal the stuff that I was doing. And I like the fact that I can add stickers to remind myself of stuff. I also like the fact that I can go to my Cricut and I can make customized stickers for my planner. So there's multiple reasons behind the reason I got the planner I got. Customizability, a plus, major. My life is different than yours. Your life is different than mine. Um, I don't have a nine to five job. I don't have um, set places I have to be at set certain times um, on a continuous basis. Every single day for me is totally different. One day I might be in the town south of me having a meeting and then I might be going up to the town north of me at another meeting, or I might be going to, oh my, did I miss an appointment I had? I think I might have missed an appointment I had today. Hmm. No, I think that's next week. See, this is why I have to get organized, because I look at my planner and I'm like, Jiminy Christmas, I think I missed something. And I have missed things. Um, but also the next day I might be out picking peaches and shoving them in a food dehydrator while I'm cleaning the floors. I mean, my life is totally different every single day. In the meantime, I'm going to sit here and get organized. I'm going to finish writing everything down in the planner that I need. And I want you to go and enjoy a nice cup of coffee for me because I think I might have to have a nice cup of coffee. I actually have to go out and do my husband's chicken chores for the evening because he's still at work. And I will talk to you guys all later. If you have any questions or if you have any tips on using the Happy Planner, I would love to know them. Um, right now, I'm looking for um, a better exercise type planning thing. I did watch a couple videos that had some new things that were coming out and I was at Michael's and they were supposed to be out at Michael's and I couldn't find them. I didn't see them. Um, I also am looking for um, just fun, cute, colorful stickers. So if you know somebody that has those already done, let me know in the comments below. Have a great night, you guys, and we or day, because it could be day when you're watching this, and we will talk to you later. Bye.